see how fucked it is. Hey, how's it going, Tim? What's going on, everybody? Hey, how's it going? It's me, Ludwig. Can you pass me that water? There's nothing in it. There's a little back wash. Hey! Does this work? Pre-chat, you're still talking with my presence here. I require a crumb of attention. Uh, chat, what is up? Chat, how does it look? How does it sound? Does it pass? Is it good? Is this working? What are the vibes? How's the bit rate, chat? How's the bit rate is what I'm asking. It's a little shit. Yeah, it's a phone. But if it fucking works, it works. Yeah, it's, we're more concerned about the bit rate, chat. You try your phone. Check it on your phone real quick. Like, oh, see, it, yeah. Video kind of bad? I mean, it's a phone, yeah. I'm not shocked by this. Guys, it's a phone. I'm not asking is this my sure level. I'm asking if we can bear with it so we can have a fun hot tub stream. Is it passable? Yeah. Video kind of bad? I mean, it's a phone. How is it? I'm not shocked by this. It's great. It's perfect? They're just being picky? Yeah, they're just being fucking annoying. Like Look at is. that. Hey, slime, come on in. Yeah. Everybody, drink some chat for slime. Uh, First guest on the hot tub stream. Oh, uh, let me get in there. All right. Oh, you dropped Hold the fucking up, towel. Oh, gross. It's a, it's a little wet. It's a little wet. Hold up. I'm blocking. I'm blocking slime enter cam. This is paid features only. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. All right, go in. You're safe. I'm coming in. It's clear. Uh, oh, uh, have a seat. Get comfy. Oh, yeah. You get that right leg room, I get this left one. Wait, where? Like that, I, like this. Like this? Oh wait, are you in? I might need a, oh, my hands are wet, my hands are wet. There he is. Oh fuck. We're good. That was terrifying. Okay, quick and wet. Let me get it wet. Hey, how's it going chat, what's going on? What's Did you have your up? phone? Did you not bring your phone in here? What was I supposed to bring it for? To, to like read chat. We can read it. chat. It's right there. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. I just but can't see myself. You couldn't. You can't see yourself. Hi, chat. It's not as I look effective. So tiny. You do look small. We could switch spots. Yeah, let's switch. I need. You want to switch? Yeah, I need to look bigger. All right. <sighs> Slower, buddy. <laughs> All right, you go. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. <sighs> you can. Now you come closer to me. Alright, not put my feet just, over here. Okay. How does Amaranth do it, man? I don't know. How does she share with the pickle oh. rig? Is yeah. that good? Alright. That's good. Okay. I think we're a little too far. Hey, how's it going? No, that should work. This is functional. You have to sit up that you're sitting like an asshole. I <laughs> you gotta go crisscross. Oh. Chat, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the hot tub stream. Mods, can we change the category to the correct category, please? Uh, swimsuits and pools. Swimsuits and pools, please. Hot tub swimsuits and pools. <sighs> of course we're not naked. We're wearing a bathing suit. Yeah. Can, can we be a little respectful? I can't see his meat. He can't see mine. We're but... trying to do, like, a, a really high-content stream right now. And it feels like you guys are being a little judgmental. Yeah. It's like we literally just have a phone. Yeah. And sorry, this isn't the high fidelity experience that, say, Atrioc would give you. Yeah, that's, well, XQCL. He's known for his good quality. That's true. Oh, XQCL is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is more like an XQC stream in that <sighs> there's, uh, you know, a bit of a 1080 webcam and that's what you get. How do you... What is that? What are you doing? Oh, the Jets? Oh, 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 oh. oh, why are they cold? Dude. I feel it like... smells like shit. Do you smell that? Yeah. It smells like sulfur. Oh, God. The hot jet tub. smells so Hey, bad. this is a real fucking hot tub stream. We're not sitting in plastic that's getting cold. Dude, why does it smell like shit? I feel like this was a bad idea. It's not even warm. Why is it not warm? Oh, oh, what am I doing? You're, like, adju adjusting it? Dude, I don't know about this. I kind of like the jets. Ugh. It's just a little stale water. Anyway, what's going on, chat? We're here in Miami. Uh, we came for the fight. Logan Paul versus last stream. Oh, I forgot to change the notification. My bad. That's an old notif. That was Jabate. Jabate. Sorry, I feel bad about that. I, that's actually, I didn't, I, I'm on mobile and it doesn't give you the option to change it. 
everyone's saying, what do you, what is this? You know, this is pretty obvious. There's a little bit of a shock at first. A shock and awe, as George Bush would call it. I've decided to change my content route. I said, fuck daily uploads. Fuck playing video games. Fuck all that shit. It's time for cozy hot tub streams. We had, there's a Pickle Rick on the way. We postmate sticky uh -huh. one and it's gonna arrive. We met Amaranth and it's changed us. Yeah. I spoke zero words to Amaranth. She was actually so nice to me. Yeah. Because like, when I meet new people, I unless they like talk to me, it's really hard for me to like, be the one that talks first. Sure. Um, and But she's like in the group that we're in, so we don't really like, really, like aren't talking or anything. But she's like taking an Instagram story and she's sitting next to me and she's like, what's your Instagram? You're gonna be in this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. And then I like told her what my thing was so she could tag Gucci me. lanyard underscore IRL yeah, slime. I, I had to tell, it's like, oh, it says a one in it. Sorry. And she, she was just really nice. Oh, sorry. Hey, thanks for the subs, everybody. Uh, we don't have a pen, but I have a pin. Oh, so we're just going to just cut into our yeah. <laughs> We bought suits. We did uh, buy suits for this. you guys probably saw on, on uh, Twitter. social. Oh, look at this. I don't have a lot of chest hair. You don't have any. I don't. This, I have one. Do you see it? Do you, have you ever tried to grow it? Do you shave your chest? I've never shaved my chest. Do you see this one hair? Yeah, it's right here. In 25 years, Wait. that's all I've grown. Oh. I can't take it. I'll give you 20 bucks. You can pull it out. I, I just you, cut you my nails. You get three pulls. All right. No. One. One try. Ow. Did you get it? No, I didn't get okay. it. Okay, last try. This is for it. This is it, chat. Pull out my chest hair. No. no it's, it's too slippery. It's permanent. What is this? Um, I don't know. Slime, explain. This is a hot tub stream. This is, uh, this is the optimal way to do things. And, you know, Ludwig isn't one who is often thought to be, like, late to the party. No. But in this one, I feel like, you know, we did get there a little late, but we got there. Here's the thing about me, right? What, what did I blow up on? What was my blow, what was my blow up glow up? All right, Roast of Hugo. I'm talking late game, Twitch blow up. We're talking chess when that was meta. Well, Among Us when that was did meta. You fart? <laughs> Chill, bro. Dude, really? Don't narc on me. I'll, I'll match you. No. You want to go there? Don't. I'll poop if I do. Okay, all right. I'll poop yeah, if okay. I do. I can't believe you did that like you were just going to talk through it. I'm like, sly. I it was a sly one. No, you, they're not sliding when they're underwater. Well, if you didn't say anything, no one would have noticed. God, okay. Chess, Among Us, Among Us. Rust. Yeah. All right, I followed the hype train. Yeah. I ditched DTRP. Why is that? Because it's not good YouTube content. Why not? I don't know. Just are, are you just bad at it? No, there's like no good YouTube channel that does well in views with GTRP. Is that true? Yeah, it's literally true. Ask Chat. There's no single YouTuber who does like really well at GTRP. Mm. Even XQC, when he got banned, his video did worse than reacting to unusual memes. Well, reacting does fucking get, get you paid. So, That's true. Yeah. But I'm back. I'm back in a major way. You're back on the trend train. Mm -hmm. And I like that, yes, sir. sir. And hey, guys, this isn't free, okay? This is Wi-Fi. This is data. This is primes. Okay, you fuckers? Yeah. Don't expect me to sit here in lukewarm water for four hours without getting some money for it, okay? We spent a lot of money on this trip. Uh-huh. We had to throw shit away. And by the end of it, we're going to fight. I get 50% of the purse, you get 10. Who eats 40? What the other... Twitch. Oh, the purse. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Yeah. Yeah, the pay-per-view cut will go... Well, the pie will get sliced. Uh, yeah, with enough... Um, if we reach... I don't know how many subs I'm at. I can't even do a sub goal. If we get X amount of subs, I'll put on my suit and I'll go inside the hot tub. You should come closer. Look how when you're in the frame, you're not like close. Uh, oh, I, I'm, I'll just have to. I have to just turn the box a bit. Here we go. All right. It's so. This is so janky. <sighs> yeah. We have it on a nightstand against a shoe box. Hey guys, at twenty-five thousand views, I'm putting on my suit and jumping in the hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's it's gonna be really it's exciting. It's gonna be content. Yeah, is what it's gonna, it's gonna be. be really enthralling. <laughs> Only because I can't see my sub count. It feels good because like so Amaranth does like she fucking grinds, bro. She does. You grind. turn it on at like four thirty in the morning. She's just like pickle Rick's there. She's there. So what's funny is she was IRL streaming, right? She was walking around Austin on Twitch. It was a co-stream with like Botez, her and Will and Hassan. But then she gets to the arena for the fight. She boots up Instagram stream. 
All right. Wait, did she close down Twitch stream? She closed down Twitch stream because they're going inside and she boots up Instagram stream. Why? Okay, because she's a fucking grinder. Dude, she is such a grinder. That's she crazy. ends the Instagram stream. She says, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. She's like, I'll be a bit. I'm like, why? She says, OnlyFans time. Oh, shit. I'm like, God damn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, do you think Amaranth makes more money than you? Oh, yeah. I found out she does. Dude, that's so... Miss Kiff told me. That's crazy. Miss Kiff, I think, asked her on stream, right? There was a time, guys... She makes, like, like ten times what I make. There was... So there was a time in... When Ludwig moved into the house and me and Nick and Ludwig lived together, we would, as, a, as like, a, a bit... We would like turn on Amaranth in the in the stream, like on the living room TV, and just yeah. sit around and watch Amaranth and, like talk, you know, yeah. about our day. Kind of like the fireplace, you know. And at the time, she would catch like five K viewers. You know, Twitch was yeah. like uh, honestly not as at big. best. Yeah, this is pre COVID. And uh, there's like a th th one this time someone night was a two hundred viewer Andy. Yeah, when you literally just started streaming. Yeah, and, and someone had gifted like a five bomb in there, and I caught a sub. And I remember I told Miles. You did get a sub. And he got mad because it's like she you stole your luck. Like I'm like if I play poker, I'm not gonna hit a fucking runner runner. Yeah. Because I got subbed in Amaranth stream. He was very super superstitious. Su superstitious. I was yeah. gonna say superficial. Yeah, superstitious. Superstitious. Anyway, and I, I remember so we had this thing. We like we sat down and we're like, let's try to figure out how much she makes. So we looked at her subs. We looked at her Patreon, and we uh -huh. just tried to like guess. Back then, she like her main thing was like Snapchat access. Yeah, I yeah. think so. She'd sell Snapchat at, for a sub, I think. And, uh, yeah, it was, and we were like, oh, this is pretty good bread. Like, you it know, by our estimation. Back in the day, too. Back in the day, it was pretty good bread. She's doing amazing. And now she's, like, blew the fuck and up. And no one can be mad because she puts in the work. Dude, she's always She does maybe three, I would, I would argue 400 hours of work a month. You know what? It's, like, the funniest thing when you go into Emirates stream and someone's, like, someone just types, like, my kids are on this platform. You're disgusting. Yeah. And it's like, they're watching her. Yeah. Like, they didn't just pop in to say some <laughs> shit and go. They didn't open up Twitch.tv and front page was like Amaranth. They're like, oh, no. It's like dad walked in and they fucking all tabbed as fast as they could. Yeah. They were too slow. It's like, this is so disgusting. And yeah. then just crosses their arms and then just watches for another hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, hey, I'm going to watch you for the rest of the night to make sure you don't do anything else that's no disgusting. No funny business, you, you harlot. Yeah. So anyway, uh, she's really nice. Um, she's everyone, very nice. Everyone's nice. It was funny because we were taking pictures of the fight, and everybody asked her for a picture, and she was like the one in the group, like every single really? person. Yeah, every like I got a picture, then Connor wanted one, then Schlatt wanted one, then Andrea wanted one. Oh, you're talking about among the group? With yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Amaranth the. Uh, I did have a few lud buds in Miami. Dude, there was a a little kid at the fight. Dude, he was like. He eight. was so small. He was like eight years old, and he was, I think, um, bilingual. It was sick. The kid's dad came and was like, hey, can I my son get a picture with yeah. you? Yeah. And he's just like this little kid. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's it's so super funny. cute. <laughs> but it's also like, it's funny that they went to a fight, because that means the kid is like... Probably a Logan Paul fan. He's probably a, a, a Logan. He's probably a, mo a, a, a maverick. You think he's a maverick himself? He went from a maverick to a mogul, and I can respect that. That's tasteful. I got a mogul move for you. <laughs> Ew. Ew. You smell it? Not yet. I'm trying to, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Do you smell it? Yeah. Chat, did you hear that? It smells like oh, eggs. Oh, hell. It smells like egg. Don't think that that's a <laughs> unique thing, by the way. Slime is a disgusting man who will openly fart in front of you in enclosed areas and then laugh to himself. And then smell it and then laugh harder. So we've been filming a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, just like on our phones. I have, yeah. And it, it's, it, you know, it's kind of trying to put it into like maybe a video or a blog. And I got him so good. With a fart? Ooh, you shit, did get me, You bro. did get me good with a fart. You looked at me like, like I said some hurtful stuff. Yeah, because it was yucky. Sometimes <laughs> I'm in the mood and sometimes I'm not. Like when it's 80 <laughs> degrees in the DLTGC. You know what else? Sometimes I won't fart if I know you're not in the mood. No, you'd still do it. You no, push, you there talk. are times when you really aren't and I hold off. But you don't ever know that. Good. Good social awareness to not shit in I'm just front saying of me. I'm merciful. You're a hero. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I am I am like the veterans. Yeah. Uh the, sorry, last stream was a, an accidental debate. I, I forgot to change the go live notif. It was my go live notif on Saturday. Did I see Rice Gum? No, but I did meet FaZe Banks. I didn't tell you about this. Really? Yeah. Where was that? Was so when Charlie? they were doing the walk-in, mm. which by the way, it was so fucked up. 
that Logan Paul walked into an excerpt from a musical, like a band nerd, and then Floyd Mayweather had Migos perform live for him to walk well, out. Well, Migos came after Jake Paul. Logan down Paul. Jake Paul. Sorry, yeah, Logan Paul. Down Logan Paul's, like, runway. Yeah. And then... And introed fucking... And introed a rapper who rapped alongside he'd, Floyd he'd Mayweather. He had two live performances. That was pretty crazy. The Charizard was pretty sick. Yeah, that was money. That was pretty fire. I can't I can't hate him. But I did meet Banks. How, yeah, how'd they go? I just went, hey, and he's tall. Is he? It sucked. He's like 6'3". He's taller than you. Dude, he towered over me. I said, what the fuck is Should've this? Should have brought Azan. And he's like, yeah, you know what it is. And I was like, fuck me, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Was he, he was a nice guy. He was nice. Yeah, he was sweet. He was nice. And then, uh, what's his name? Mike. I forget his last name. I think it's harder to pronounce. So Aiden, Aiden wasn't around? Aiden, Aiden wasn't, wasn't around. around. No. You know, it was funny because, like, so we we thought we were going to get, like, this skybox, and then we, like, didn't, and it was kind of like this this mess, uh, but we ended up kind of on pretty, pretty close to the ring, which was kind of cool. It was very close. I was um, 20 feet away. But we were like, oh, no, like, Aiden Ross is going to be in a skybox, and he's going to be looking down at us. And, like, we'll have fucking trumpets in our hands. Like, yeah. It's, it's L City He's just going to have us. fucking sniper on me at all yeah. times. <laughs> L, L Town. Yeah. We were at the fight, yeah. No one won. It was a tie. It was a pretty boring affair. Although, good energy in the building. And yeah, that's it. it was all right. Yeah, I, me and Schlatt were talking about how uh, fucking normie stuff is crazy. Like, what does that mean? Like, going out and doing normie things, like, going to events, like, gathering and watching things together outside. Yeah. It's, like, so much. You hate it. I hate it. Schlatt's also not a huge Schlatt fan too, of... too. He was, like, my social battery's drained, and I'm, like, I feel that. Yeah. I felt a kinship with that tall man. Yeah. So. You guys are akin in that way. I'm sim- more similar to Connor. Connor. What's Connor like in that way? Down to clown. He is down to clown. Connor's... I feel like you like to see him. Yeah. Connor's there, you're like a He's friend, a treat. An ally. Yeah. Let's I did meet Charlie. Yeah, um, he disappeared a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I heard where what what stands he was in and I went to go say hi to him and I met Charlie live IRL. He's the he's still the sweetest human alive. And we took a picture together. It was it was great. It was a treat. What's the, um, what was his, like, squaw? What was his crew? He, dude, he, he rides with just his dogs. He's got his Nick and his Eamon and his slime. Oh, yeah, yeah, and his girlfriend. You're different. You're, you're a shill. I'm here with you in a bathtub. Yeah, but you, you know who was else there? Will Neff. What is that? You, I'm in the bathtub with you right now. How are you still jealous? Because you're thinking about Azan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually true. I met him for the first time. He's really nice. It's like the um, meme, like, he must be thinking about Azan, but I actually am thinking about Azan, because <laughs> it's fucking Azan. Uh, Will was there, Schlatt, and then, yeah, the Batezes, and then, uh, that was the squad, kind of. It, it was quite a squad. Yeah. So, yeah, that w- we came down for this, and then fucking Ludwig's gonna, uh, go home. So I'm out tomorrow. Are tomorrow. you telling people what you're doing? Is it a secret? It's not a secret. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little deep detour and I'm going to fly to a different part of Florida where the um the you know I had to do it to him street was uh this guy, he was wearing a polo. Yeah. Or no, button down. Uh, uh, button well, yeah, well, no, it was a Yeah, it was a button down yeah. and pink shorts and uh socks, no socks and sandals. He's going there like a like a pilgrimage. It's a pilgrimage to a holy site. Yeah. And um this he, is like your your what's it called in um when you go to Israel uh, as a Jewish person, your passage? I think it's also a pilgrimage. No, it's not pilgrimage. It's my room springa. That's a fake word. No, it's not. It's what the Amish do to go. Birthright. To the, they go do meth. This is your birth. This is your if, meme right. see if the Amish lifestyle is what they still want. Wait, what? It's called room springa, I think. You're fucking with me. Don't fart again. You did the one for the meme. Now it's just gross and icky. <sighs> Oh, you smell it? It smells like Cheetos. No, I don't. I don't want to smell it. <laughs> it smells like Cheetos. I didn't even eat them. What is That's so crazy? Is that real that Amish people smoke meth? Yeah, they'll Are do you meth. Sure it's meth. Well, they'll do whatever. So Amish people have this like rite of passage where they leave the Amish homestead. Also, this is based on nothing but me uh, kind of remembering this, and also the movie Kingpin with Bill Murray. Okay. So there's no way it's meth. Well, the thing is, they go, and they're allowed to do whatever. They're allowed to have sex, premarital, uh-huh. with prostitutes. Yeah. Or not. 
or do drug. That's pretty nice. Or smoke meth. Yeah. Or eat, like, cheese. I don't know what's sacrilegious in, in the Amish faith. I don't think it's cheese. And then they come back. It's definitely not cheese. And then they just decide if they're, like, it's God testing them with the temptations of the Lord. Wow. It's kind of like their college. And then they come back and they decide if they want to, like, churn butter for the rest of their lives or you know smoke do, meth smoke meth wow like snorted off the urinal at the strip club that's wild yeah i didn't know that i would have a i feel like a hard time going back to churning butter i feel like it's such a, a a rocket ship you like go and then you like live in this bender for two weeks and you're like man i just miss mom you know or whatever maybe, maybe you get overwhelmed yeah and like you come swift. back and the butter feels good yeah and you churn it does it. feel good to churn butter um but yeah so are amish people religious I th- yeah, they definitely... They, I didn't know that. They're like God. I just assumed they were just didn't like society. Not that they loved God. Another misconception about Amish people, they l- use electronics. Unless they're like hardcore. Once again, just something I heard. Sure. But I'm the expert right now. You do know more than me, but it sounds like you don't know that much. Mm. More than you. Yeah, that's still true. So I'm going to that holy site. I uh, brought a camera. You're I'm doing film your pilgrimage. Stuff. You're going to film your pilgrimage. And w- really quick, I want to say I found that place before anyone else did. I spent like four hours on Google Maps yeah. just searching and searching after doing like detective work. And uh, and I found it and I popped off. I lost my mind. When you found it? And then like a couple days later, someone else found it because like the trail got hot and uh, I lost my time in the sun. This is like when people try to find Shia LaBeouf. You could have posted on Reddit and got. I could have like been the guy who found it, but I didn't. I there was a sense of like for one ownership, like I didn't want to ruin it, you know. I didn't want to be the guy who like dropped an Addy. Sure. And the other part was that uh, I just I didn't care. I wanted it to. It was mine. You would never. It was mine. Speak. Anyway, so I'm going there finally. That's big. And then I'll fly back the next day. And I'm just going back tomorrow. Back to old tricks. Back to old. Back to D and D is what I'm excited for. Yeah. I skipped a week of it. I'm missing it. The whole gang went without me. Slime's a furry. Why would you say that? Why is that a bad thing to say? It's not. But nothing has given an indication that I'm a fucking furry. Why are you saying fucking furry? Like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. That I. But he <laughs> called me a fucking furry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to Genesis three just like Luda did. So I don't fucking care. I'm. I'm tolerant. It's pretty true. It's Bald. Pretty true. Dude, you know who's going bald? Logan Paul. Logan Paul. We, yeah. can, we can smell our own. I saw his hair flying around all sweaty, looking a little thin. I looked a little thin. Sorry. You know what he can buy now, though? Fucking 18 hair transplants. He can buy the Elon Musk treatment. He's in Puerto Rico. They probably do use, like, spinal... No, that's actually no. Where is it that they do that? Hungary. No, it's somewhere in the south that uh, Dan Bilzerian goes to do um, he does stem, stem cell. Like he eats the stem cells and becomes stronger. Yeah, he gets like faster. children's stem cells to get stronger. <laughs> and he goes like where it's like it's legal not legal in it. America. Oh, Panama. Yeah, Panama. He goes to Panama to eat stem cells. And south like, of America, launder money. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, Connor's here. Hey, Connor, how's it going? Hey, Connor. Connor, you hope you're having a good night, man. It was fun hanging out, Connor. But yeah, we went to the fight. Uh. And that was it. Now we're doing a hot tub stream together. Something to kind of check off the list, you know. I'm happy that I got to see the GOAT once and Floyd Mayweather fight. <laughs> you were such a, a low gang at the fight. Well, okay, chat. We both put $1,000 on the fight. Guess what we bet on. Fifty to one odds, the Maverick takes him down. The big man, six inches taller, thirty-four pounds heavier, larger vertical reach. We bet on the Disney Channel star. We bet on. We bet on the mouse. We bet on a miracle, and we lost everything. Yeah, we lost. And what sucked is the guy who placed our bet put everything he had on a draw, which I didn't know, which makes sense. I didn't know either, and he made like ten x. Yeah, guy, guy, you know who made some train. racks. Really? Train put ten k on draw and just made eighty k. Oh. And we just about. lost a thousand. Well, let's see. Thousands. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I, at least not ten. So we hey guys, if big, you're enjoying big. the stream, let's try to get. Hey, <laughs> some primes going. We got a marker somewhere. We don't have a marker. We'll find one. We'll just fuck just it. prime, and we'll see. Uh, b- 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 scripted fights. I don't think the fight. Maybe it was. Maybe they were holding back. 
The guy in the Uber, one of the Ubers that we drove, was telling us that everything we see and hear is fake and that all fights are staged. And that Kimbo Slice used to use cocaine before his fights to get juiced up to be able to fight at a higher level. And when he went pro, he couldn't take coke, so he was bad. And then he said, some rappers choose to be homosexual, but some are just pretending. And then well, the, not choose. He said some rappers are gay and some pretend to be gay. Some pre- right, right. Yeah. And then, and then, and, and then he the, didn't say who. And then the ride was over. Yeah. And he was said, "Have a nice day." It was a whirlwind. And we're like, "That was a crazy like two mile Uber." It was. It was literally an, a five minute <laughs> Uber ride. <laughs> so that's Florida so far. Anyway, if you're one of those rappers, come on, man. Be truthful. Yeah. Cap. Happy Pride. I'm happy Pride. Um. What else? Yeah, it's a pretty. It's been a quick trip, you know. It was fast. Which, I'm uh, astonished with the amount of people who've come up to me. Some of them, though, it's funny. Like some people came up to me and were just like, "Hey," and whatever. Like at the dunks. Yeah. But some other people would walk up and beeline to Schlatt, and they'd be like, "Schlatt, look! Oh my God, can I get a picture?" And then they'd look at who Schlatt's with, look down, fucking at Connor, okay, like at me, and they go. Oh, Ludwig, can we get a picture too? Oh. It's like, fuck you. All right, I'm not mad that you don't want a picture with me. <laughs> I kind of said, wow. I'm just saying, don't ask me because you don't care. It's the fucking, it's the, it, it, the, you know, hey, you're cool too. Yeah. Uh, this guy, one guy did this. This guy came up, he saw Hassan because it's impossible to miss the 6'6 six, six monolith of a man. And he goes, you're Hassan. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, oh my God. And then he looks around the group and he starts naming every streamer there. He's like, Botez. <laughs> like he's waking from a dream. Yeah. Like he's Frodo at the end and it's like all his friends are around him. And the shirt he's wearing? Squad W. You don't give a fuck about any of us. You're Squad W out of your mind. As if you want a picture with the Botez sisters. People, they crumple when they see something. They do famous. crumple. They crumple like mannequins. Anyway. Um, you know, it's why I, I, I was making fun of Schlatt. Schlatt took a picture of somebody and I was filming it. And uh, and he, he looks into my phone. And he's like, "That guy fucking wanted a picture with me." I was like, "Yeah, what, you, you gonna say something to him? You got a problem with like?" He was running a bit that like, you know, it annoyed him, which it didn't. And then uh, and then he leans in. And he's like, "Yeah, I think he was a slime fan though." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Because <laughs> I'm the one who's like a nobody, right? Yeah. I there was one person that got I got the ultra 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 runoff. Which was like, come on, slime! I'll get a picture with yeah. you too. And it was like this blurry, fast one, <laughs> and I was like, they immediately deleted it while you're I looking was like, at the phone. This phone. sucks. It doesn't suck because I don't care. Yeah. But it was just funny. Is like, there's a totem pole, and some people are at the bottom. Except I have more followers than Will Neff on Twitter. So, that is how you're here. He's such a fun person to be. Will Neff is a treat, a treat of a human. Makes you feel like nice. Schlatt is a, a nice guy. Yeah, everyone's nice. Yeah. That's what you guys will one day learn, is that all these people that you have insane opinions about and, like, that you get mad about or you want to defend or attack, they're all just, like, pretty decent. Yeah. Usually in real life. Yeah. Because you kind of got to be. That's how it works. You can't be a character in man, man to Man. If you're a character 24-7 and Man to Man, for one, people tend not to want to fuck with you. Not fuck with you, like, bother you, but, like fuck with you like be around you and also it's you just turn into an insane human being that isn't real i bet even like who's the i'm trying to think of the craziest person like riffraff people are saying like mizkiff omega lol mizkiff's pretty pretty like off the wall class clown but he's still like you still can have a conversation with him yeah he can be tame you know um sometimes he just lies down he's on his phone like it like everyone does like everyone does that's true what did you say what did you just say I actually can't. I don't know why you said that. I forget what I said. You were talking about a, a streamer or somebody who's like, would be weird or something? Riff Raff. Riff yeah. Raff, right. I bet you meet Riff Raff and he's just like, hey, how's it going? Riff, I don't know, man. And he takes out his fake teeth I that look Riff like Riff Raff daggers. would talk about baby panda eggs with you. And yeah. I, it depends on who you are. It, it depends on where you see him, too. If he's in the green room, just like scrolling through Instagram with his belly out like everybody he'll probably be chill but if you meet him at like a meet and greet he's probably gonna turn it on a little bit the so. weirdest humans i have found so far are people who are into crypto Ugh. i think there's a, so annoying dude at in miami right now every time we got into an uber they'd be like are you here for the crypto event 
because there's a giant Bitcoin event. Or something. Where like 15,000 people are here to talk about which coin they made or what's going to the moon, I guess. They're all getting together and they're put getting in a line and just sucking and fucking in the largest suck and fuck line ever made by man. And you can see it from space. I don't That's know. the goal of the event. If I agree with all of that, but it is kind of weird. It's not weird. Not that sucking, I'm talking about the crypto event. No. I was going to say, it's not weird to do that. Suck and fuck, no, I'm not saying that. That's just a lot. It's a fine thing. It's all consent. It's fine to suck and fuck, I guess. But yeah, crypto people are. You know what's really interesting? At my old job um, at Beyond the Summit, I started there, and it was like January. It was like my first month. And I remember I was sitting around, and they were talking. There were people there who already worked there looking for more people to hire because we were like expanding. And one person came up, like, oh, what about this person? And another person in the room was like, yeah, they're okay, but right now they're really into crypto. And, <laughs> and everyone in the room just kind of groaned. Wow. And then that person was not considered to, like, be reached out to. That's tough. So if you guys think that this is a meme, if you are unlikable and annoying, that will literally stop people from, like, saying, hey, maybe this person would be good for this job. Yeah, people are nervous, uh, nervous about their social media page for, like, posting inappropriate stuff, but it's, like, posting too much crypto. Posting too much crypto, you fucking Short selling Tesla it. too much. Ugh, you get frozen out. Retweeting Logan Paul giveaways. That's what will ice you out. I don't know. I think a low gang maverick is just what this company needs. He is a man who goes against the grain, which I respect. <laughs> Dude. Wait. Oh, my God. His Dude, whole it was speech so funny. was crazy. At the end, it just felt like they both just f- said fuck you to everyone who paid however many dollars to watch the fight. Just happy for all the people that fucking yeah. dropped the bag for us, Brother Bear. Hey, hope it was a good show for everyone. I'm just happy I was here with one of the greatest of all time. Just did my thing. Who knows? And Maybe I'll do it again. Easy clap. <laughs> yeah. It was very tepid. 50 bucks, yeah. I think that, too, if you're, like, in Logan Paul's, like, position, you don't want to go down as someone who, like, made fun of or, or pissed off or, or acted disrespectful toward, like, a sports legend. No, yeah, he did do well, I think. You it know what just, I mean? It just felt weird in because it's a fight. There's a tier list of people who are important in history in terms of, like, what the population cares about, and it's, like, it's, like, sports movie stars and like sports stars i think it's politicians like politicians before. maybe before but you can clown politicians and it's cool but if you That's clown true. like unless they're old and dead. if you clown like john elway and of in a football tournament and it's like it's kind of fucked up i'll right? clown john elway for not re-signing tim tebow after winning their first first playoff game and in dude like 10 he years. ran a fucking car dealership he wasn't in charge of that he was yeah, he was. He right. was the GM. He was. he was the GM. I forgot. Tim Tebow won against the Pittsburgh Steelers first round in the playoffs. Fucking bomb 70 yards right side. Dude, he was so And then so next bad. season, they're like... He couldn't like, throw a ball. Fuck you. He couldn't... No, I would have said the same thing. He couldn't throw a ball. All he cared about was God and running it down past the fucking line. And it, it was, he was great at that. <laughs> Nobody was better. But, okay, what I'm saying is there's this world out there where... Let's say you're a billionaire, right? And even billionaires can't all get f- basketball teams, you know? No. So if you own a basketball team, let's say you're Mark Cuban, and you own the, uh, who's he own? Billionaire. He owns a basketball he team. He owns the Mavericks, who just got eliminated, I think. Ooh! He owns the Mavericks, and if you own that team, now Mark Zuckerberg is calling your ass. He's saying, yo, Mark, can we get a fucking, can we get courtside? Is that chill? Is that cool? He'd be like, yeah, I got you, I got you. Or he looks at it, or just leaves it on silent. He doesn't talk to Mark yeah. Zuckerberg. And so there's, like, this this fucking, this weird pecking order even among, like, those people. And then it all just, like, there's tears, and the, the totem pole moves farther and farther, farther down. And it's funny because Logan Paul is, like, reaching the middle of this totem pole. He's going nuts. And it's crazy. Hassan was like, hey, man, the cloud economy is peaking. Yeah, I might d- be able to run for president. He <laughs> literally said that. And I said, yeah, you're tall enough. You could do it. I think he's a shoe in for Congress. I think he just goes to, like, a weak enough district. It's just fucking easy clap. Him and AOC are just fucking playing... There are minimum 5,000 men and women who thirst for Hassan who will move to that district... That's true. And just vote for him and just live there. <laughs> it's, it's lucky that Hassan is attractive and a good person because he could totally Charlie Manson it. You know what I mean? Like, you know how Charles Manson had, like, groupies that followed him when oh, he was yeah. in prison? Yeah. And they're like, I want to fuck that crazy guy. Yeah. I and think he, like, didn't he get conjugal visits? Yeah. 
Which is weird that they gave him that. I mean, he's a human being. That I don't know. Murder I just, yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but yeah, this like idea. If like if Hassan went to jail for eating seven people, he would. There would still be this hardcore group of like yeah. hot women that'd be like lining up to get that crazy dick and balls. And that's what a neoliberal is. And, that, <laughs> <laughs> and that's who should run for Congress. Uh, yeah, Hassan. He he could win, man. Do you think it's legal to buy an apartment building in a district you're going to run in and then just move people to that apartment building to get more votes? I think yes, but it's it's probably illegal, but it's also, it's more just a waste of money. It's probably not cost efficient. How many fucking votes you're getting? True. Like a hundred? Do it in like, like a small Iowan town. I think... Isn't it, there like a... Isn't Nebraska that has a split vote that you can get like... You just need, like, 5,000 people. I think you just need get-out-the-vote efforts that aren't buying human beings and fucking <laughs> doing what Trump was actually afraid of. That's true. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, you get down there, start shaking hands, shaking babies, kissing hands, whatever. What's up with hacks? I don't know. I'm not up-to-date on that. I didn't watch it. I just kind of, look... On my stream, I had watched the first 40 minutes, you know, just pausing along the way a lot before, you know, we had to catch a flight. Um, I might finish it. I might yeah. not. It might be The trail might be too cold by then. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. It's I don't weird. feel like I have a big place to speak on it, and I feel uncomfortable bringing too much attention to it. But I will say, Emp Lemon tweeting that the entire video was surgical precision takedown, similar to uh, the content cop from iDubs was probably the worst tweet I've seen this year. <laughs> I and I don't know what a lot of that means cuz I didn't ever watch YouTube, yeah. but I will say surgical precision is not equal to sign a two and a half hour video where you're just explaining what uh cuz there's no way the dark a surgeon is. is taking out my appendix and then goes, "Man, this reminds me of that Hitler quote." Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, he's talking to your anesthetized body yeah. for 3 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It's weird. I don't think, uh, I think he's just taking it uh, a little too far, but whatever. I, and I don't think you've seen Bo Burnham. I haven't seen You it. should watch it. I think you would like it. I haven't watched Bo Burnham yet because it makes me feel, un. what's the word? Satisfied. No, uneasy and... What's that noise? You you're, hear that? you're trying to fart. No, no. But it's not working. Do you hear that? It stopped. Yeah. Oh. It's just like pipes, man. Yeah, I guess it scared me. When Go I ahead. watch stuff like that, it makes me sad that I haven't done anything with my life, so I try to make sure I'm in the right mood. What This is equal to <laughs> his one-hour special. We are doing the world justice right Bo now. Bo Burnham has the utmost respect of millions, and you have, what would you call it? A pretty n nice eight-year-old fan who said... Hey, can I get a picture? He was a pretty cool kid. That was pretty pog. That was pretty nice. Does Bo Burnham have that? Yeah, probably a bunch. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. I watched it when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't know, man. So I'll watch it, but whatever. Uh, I have. We have us. We have you guys. Atrock, I don't know why he's streaming in my house today. I, he was supposed to, I think, do Magic the Gathering. And what, I don't know if he did mean? it. He was supposed to do, like, a draft. Like online? No, in person. And then I think he just didn't, and he played um, Hollow Knight on my computer all day. Atriok is the most frustrating streamer that exists because he does it, but he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't consider it. No, I think he likes doing it now. It's different now. That was like a month ago. He was like, oh, no, I fucking never quit my job in video. I love NVIDIA. And it's like, yeah, I get it. I don't think he wants to put too much identity into it. It's kind of like Saikuno. That's so fucking stupid. Well, it's what You're Saikuno does. Shit. You know what Saikuno does? What? He's like... Um, hey guys, you know, I just like streaming as a hobby. And he's like one of the biggest streamers in the world. I, and it's just a hobby for him. I get there's like an, a freedom and an agency to be able to mm -hmm. want to say that mm -hmm. and deserve to say that. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, you can't say that your hobby that makes you fucking hot millies is like, oh, I'm just doing it for the fucking... I think they the are, man. Ws, I think some people don't care about the money. No, I'm not saying that's Atriok, by the way. He definitely cares about the money. He talks about, about it often. But I think Saikuno like, might... Loves. He's in love with money. Might be, might be legit. I can't believe you still talk to the editors through Twitter. What, what else would I talk to them through? Discord. I made a Discord for us where I talk to them Bubble every... mode! Woo! Every month, I pay them. 
Every prime we will turn on or off bubble mode. That's right, baby. It's bubble mode right now. Thank you for that prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. What were you saying? I was saying that you're a great... You're a great uh -oh, guy. Uh-oh, Lebonski, bubble mode off right now. Thank you for that prime. Appreciate it, gamer. Love that. This button's going to wear out. Woo! We got a prime from Matt. Okay, back <laughs> off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This system's bad. It is a bad Abandon system. Abandon the system. We, get, we, we still have time. Festus, what's up, man? Great system. <laughs> I'm just keeping it on for a bit. Bubble mode on. Ugh. Are the bubbles actually too loud? Can you hear me over the bubbles? You hear me? Poop, poop, balls, ass, shit, poop. All right, perfect. Prezzo! Prezzo, great tweet about us docking today. Prezzo's funny. Really liked it. Prezzo's Twitter is funny. Prezzo, in my world, the greatest villain return comeback artist. You used ever. to hate him. Yeah, because I thought he was actually being mean to you. Yeah, no, he was just memeing all the he time. He was memeing. And we squashed it in DMs. Now I All now these? I DM him LMAO. This was fire. Why'd you delete? Oh uh, really? And then he's like, everyone tells me this. I don't know why he deletes. There's no reason. It's, it's like part of the bit. It's uh, like be deleting the tweet is part of the the joke, like whole pizza pie. Yeah, that makes sense. Jabuki does the same thing. That's a name I know. Another uh, LGBT Twitter funny man. Mm. This is does this get hotter? No. It's just kind of lukewarm water, but I don't mind it when it moves. I like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. All right, Jack, let's get some questions going. Ugh. Where the fuck are you? Great question, Pokey Cat. Appreciate that. Hey, we're coming in hot from Miami right now. We're in Miami. Where we just watched the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight live um, in the Hollywood Bowl. Gangsters don't die. They just get chubby and move to Miami. Was the fight worth it? Great question. We didn't pay for the seats. Cash App just gave it to us. Yeah. Um, but no, I, it was well. Yeah. It was fine. It was fine. I think that, I think, when, if you're a streamer, every time you spend like away from your stream setup for the night, you feel like you're losing money. Ah, uh, no, I don't feel like that. But today. some people do. Sure. Right? And Hassan so, feels like that. And so there's this idea that it's like if it's not if it wasn't fun and it's kind of like a bunk trip, it's like a huge waste of time. It's also a waste of money. Hassan calculates days in streams per day and what will impact that. But if you're a YouTuber, you don't got to worry about that. Schlatt was chilling. Yeah, because Schlatt doesn't have to do anything also, for yeah. like two weeks. Yeah, and yeah. then he rolls out of bed and he goes, all right, I'll do something today. <laughs> YouTubers live the good life. They live a much rela more relaxed life, but streamers are always on edge. Like I tried Swift. to bring up this point and it, and it started a mini war between streamers and YouTubers. Not to say that YouTube is easy. A lot of them put a lot of work into their videos. Yeah. It's more so that you can take time off, and it's not like anyone's expecting you to show up in a certain time period, usually. Yeah, unless you are a daily upload Andrew, and then you miss a daily upload. Daily upload Andrews are pretty rare, though, if you're not a streamer. Oh, uh, yeah. Unless your name's PewDiePie, who's also kind of a streamer. Does he still upload every day? I think so. What does know. PewDiePie do? Uh, what everyone else does. Reacts and plays Minecraft. To this day. He doesn't do daily anymore. Fair enough. Uh-huh. We outed the PewDiePie viewer. Hey, get hey, him. get him. Sick of mods. <laughs> editors make a lot of money. I'm they happy can. for them. They can. I'm talking about your editors. Oh yeah. They came they started from the bottom and they believed in the Ludwig Under dream. They make more than me. No. <laughs> no, they don't. And I know that. You do pay them out. They make more than me. They do make mint, bro. Very generous uh system you have with that. Shake's gonna churn out two more years and then buy a yacht and live on it, fly around the world. Or sail, whatever you call it. But he'll still do a fucking Slim Jim video. Did I meet Mr. Beast? No, I didn't. I don't I don't know where the hell he was, but I didn't get to meet Mr. Beast. I did meet um, Chandler, and by meet, I, we shared eye contact, and I didn't think he knew who I was, but I knew who he was, but I didn't want to stop because I was walking to my seat and there were people behind me, and I didn't want the line to stop, so I looked at him, and I went, hey, and then before he could say hey back, I walked away. So I call that a Sigma move. It was a pretty Sigma move. Uh, 
Uh, honestly, it's pretty memorable for him, I imagine. There was this kid, no one, it, me and Schlatt saw this. It was everyone walking by, going to our seats when we had to like circle the whole ring. And it's the whole squad. And it's this kid, he's probably like 10 or 11, he's sitting in a chair. And he sees all of you go by like it's fucking Disneyland and Mickey and the gang is oh, going. Yeah? And he's like, and then he turns to his dad and he's like, and I can hear him mouthing like what is going on in front of him. Yeah. But he didn't, he was too chicken shit to get up and do something. Yeah. Like it. But he was like, he lost his mind. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dude, they just play Minecraft. Stop. They, yeah. They're, they don't have to be your hero. They do just play Minecraft. <laughs> I did have a, a Ludbud pull up outside the fight with my sweatshirt on. And I don't think he had a ticket to the fight. I think he just pulled up because he knew I was going. And he just farmed a picture, which was pretty fucking five head. Yeah, that's huge. He just had the white, the cream, the cream hoodie. And I was like, all right, fair oh, enough. Oh, really? Man. Yeah, you the cream. You got to support that. I got a rep. If he's repping, I got a rep. You got me thinking about, we got some fire merch coming soon. No leaks yet? No leaks. No though. leaks. It's coming. What was Charlie like? Just a sweet man. I think in the picture we took, he's taller than me, which I don't think I'll live down for a while. Is he? Yeah. You know what being in a normie area reminded me of? What? There's so many people in the world. There are a lot of people. There's also a lot of, like, attractive people in the world. There are a lot of attractive people in the world. I think we're just getting a bit old. Maybe, yeah. There's so many people, man. It's funny, because, like... Dude, we walk by that, like... He looked like a homeless guy, and he was just tall and fucking cut. Yeah. And I was just like... Like the most ripped... I was Almost like, man. you should be a star. Ruby, don't say like the girl reading this. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, what was funny is the arena, Miami in general, fucking sucks in terms of weather. 85, humid as hell. I feel like I'm sweating, but I'm not. If I drop any amount of water on my shirt, it'll stay there for the rest of the day like a stain. It rains randomly. If you just close your eyes long enough and open them, it'll start drizzling. Yeah. We bought an umbrella. It was beautiful, sunny. When we went into Walmart, we left. It was pouring. We needed an umbrella. It was, it was fucking insane. I, di I didn't understand Florida weather as much uh, until I arrived here. I but it. this entire fight was held where the Miami Dolphins play, which is not a closed arena. It is an open arena. It has no rough. It has no rough. So we fucking roll in. And there's all these women and men who are dressed like it's a polo match of the century. Dude. They're wearing, like, the most beautiful dresses and, and like, like open back. And, and the, Yeah, and the guys are wearing, like, insane shit. And it's fucking raining on them. And I'm like, you did not. This is not. I mean, I, we wore a suit, mind you, but I was wearing Crocs as well. We weren't going fucking nuts. I see Hassan in chat. I'm, sorry, I missed your message. What's Hassan. up, Hassan? Hassan. We talked about your eventual run for office as well as your possible incarceration. And how you would still be able to get some action. I bet. Did you put your hand over your heart during the national anthem? I was walking. That's when I was walking back from Charlie. That's not what I asked you. Insane. I sang along with it with the harmony. It's like you want our troops to be killed. <laughs> what? Don't say that. I'm going to get an 823 moment. You got to chill. No, no, no. We're chill. We're chill. I sang it as I walked back. The fight was literally starting, and I, they're like, Charlie was a long way away, so I had to go around a bunch of shit. I guess what's more American than friendship? What's more American than friendship? True. And singing it out loud. Yeah. I know every word. You know I used to sing that in high school? Like, before a basketball game, I would be the, the motherfucker to really? pull up. Yeah. You really were a band I would kid. pull They're, up. They were right. With one microphone in the perfect key of G, high G, because I'm a Let me tell Chad. you a problem that I have with Ludwig. I've talked about this on the Southathon, but he'll just whistle a lot, and it's really loud. Fuck you. I'm a great whistler. Oh, fuck. I lost chat. But oh. it's not about the, the whistling. He will whistle like... <laughs> he'll whistle like the Blues Clues song. He'll whistle like... The national anthem. He'll whistle like Christmas songs. Any like public domain, non copyright song that he thinks of in his head, he'll whistle it. And it's like, I just wish you liked like m music instead of like. I can't! Because <laughs> this fucking website! You think I can't? You think I don't want to listen to music? You think I don't want to have copyright and shit enter my ear holes? It's crazy. The thing is, if I slip up and I play a fucking excerpt from Samurai Jack going, oh. 
I'll get banned for three months. Oh, cool. And so instead, I have to listen to goddamn bullshit ass music that nobody likes. We shop channel over and over and over again, fucking myself. Well, that's fire, and you don't whistle that. I wish you did. You know that. what I want to whistle right now is the Final Fantasy victory music for Final Fantasy. He 1. does that too. So imagine you're like trying to like do a spreadsheet. Okay. Motherfucker. Chat. One's in chat if you think whistling is not as bad as farting in front of another human openly, loudly, and proudly again and again and again. What's worse? You give them the second option. Two, if you think that whistling is worse than farting in front of people openly. There's those twos, brother. Extra, Extra. you're going to get unmodded. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, Extra. You got to chill. You're new I, here. I can't save you're you. You're new here, bro. You got to <laughs> you gotta be on my side. Minimum three months. A lot of twos. Let's get a vote going. We got a poll. What would you prefer? Your friend rolls up. That was not a fart. Look, I'm doing this. Oh, it's yeah, air. My first fart wasn't a fart, by the way. It was that. It was butt air. I played it off. I like that. I appreciate that. Because I like physical comedy. Oh! Farting, farting is worse by 73%. Why'd you owe that? Because I forgot the... You read it wrong. I've read it wrong. So, yeah. I will... Here's the thing, though. I don't fart for, like, nine days straight. What do you think? You whistle I'll... more than I fart. Yeah, but f farting is, like, so much worse for the All right. mind. Well, so, we those. had this idea where it's like... Ludwig said... Uh, Connor said he couldn't live... Or he could live without R. Kelly, right? You guys had this discussion where, if like, R. Kelly never existed, like... That was Aiden. Oh, it was Aiden. Sorry. Yeah. So, so, and I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll live without R. Kelly. I don't care. Because I would say that one Michael Jackson is worth 60 R. Kellys. Okay, how does And farting... I'm talking about musical quality. Can you remind me how farting ties back into this? Because how many farts, fart sessions, I'll call them, because I'll usually hit you, hit you with, like, eight or nine. Yeah. Because I'm goaded. Sure, okay, so I see what you're saying. If I whistled for a year straight, that'd be worse than a fart. So what's the line? What I'm saying is one fart session is not as bad as ten whistlings. I disagree. If I smell it, it's GG. If I never smelled it, it'd be fine. It's But I get pleasure when I you smell it and you make that face, right? That's crazy. But you get pleasure when you whistle a stupid song... But I'm not happy about it, so it's a selfish act no matter what, right? Okay, do you understand? You don't, the... Make the, you don't make the house better when you whistle. Do you understand the difference? You need me to feel pain and discomfort to be happy. I just want to whistle. If you weren't there, I'd be happy. You would still whistle alone? I'd still whistle. I still fart alone. <laughs> yeah, obviously. And I laugh to myself like a child. <laughs> do you? Yes. You're 30, man. I know. 31. I know. You can't be doing that. I am. All right. So what I'm saying is these are reciprocal acts, Okay. I need you to video yourself farting by yourself and laughing. Otherwise... Oh, I'll totally do it. People giggles. Yeah. Is this grime from us? Is it grime? Oh! Grime oh, alert. Oh, dude. Grime look at this alert. grime. <clears throat> look at that grime level. That can't be from us. Oh, that was yucky. Oh, no. The towel's in the bag. Dude, stop. No. All right. Just relax. Just ring it out. This is turning bad. I hope bubble time! Hey! hey! Every day is good when da, bubbles da, 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 are flying. That was from your ass fart. True. This is, dude. This is what Amaranth deals with, but no one ever gets to see it. Here's they the don't thing. see the grind. Here's the here's the real tea, sisters. I'm a bit pruned already. How long have we been here? Can we get an uptime? All right. Ammo's here for hours, bro. She's nuts. She's out of control. Uh, not even one hour. Although, admittedly, she does throw up a screen that's, like, changing into a cute outfit. Yeah. And then fucks off for 40 minutes. Probably deep prunes. Deep prunes. Rinses, yeah. Comes back. Changes the pickle, Rick. Can you replace the water? Is Bubbles not replacing it? Bubbles is... Not replacing it. It's moving it around though. It is, yeah. The the the, the dirty grime goes into the Daniel. air where we can breathe it. What's up, Miles? It said hardest grinder on the platform. True, ammo is. <laughs> it's for real, real shit. I, I was telling him about how uh, we were watching and I got that sub bomb and you were like, she stole your luck. Yeah, you do a good Miles now. How is she not prune? I think she just sits on that pickle rick for as little water contact as possible. I wouldn't call the tub hot, but it's not cold. It's not cold. 
It's not hot. I'm like comfortable right now. Yeah. I think our nice body heat is also helping us out. Yeah, we do have good body heat. We need to go uh, to the gym more. I'm looking at... The gym's broken I'm right now. I'm looking at your backside. You called me a uh, fucking pre-Captain America, Captain America. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's hard. I, I want to roast you for losing muscle mass, but also being fat. It's because I called him the beginning of Captain America earlier today. Wait, we got suits, and the guy was a pro. Dude, I, we went to Men's Warehouse at 5.35. They closed at 6. The guy goes, what do you need? I said, two suits. And he goes, ugh. Yeah, he, he looks wasn't at happy me, about it. He's like 34 size jacket. Looks at him, 32 size. Gets his jackets. Try these ones. Looks at her <laughs> pants, gets a perfect pant size. 34, I don't even fucking know. All right, looks at my shoes. He goes, you're an 11. Gets me shoes. I'm like, what are you fucking he was doing? Pro. He was insane. Literally 20 minutes, we were out of there with two suits that both got uh, tailored. Yeah, it was nuts. It was cracked. That guy deserves a... He's, a, he's, a, he's good at what he does. He's good at his job. Thanks, Shrevert, for the sub. You know what I think makes the grime? The bubbles. Which is fine. I'm oh, fine like when they disappear? Yeah, it like brings the grime to the front. But I Maybe think that right. cleans the water. Maybe you're right. So. Show us the suits. They're on, uh, there's pictures on our socials. Yeah, we got it on Twitter, bro. Propecia? You talking to me? I don't use Propecia. <laughs> I think they're talking to you. Is it too late? Nah, it's not worth it. You shave it. Me? No, me. Oh. Or whoever's talking about Propecia. Because if you're if you're talking about Propecia, trying to roast someone who's like bald or going bald, it means that you are also have been thinking about that. If you know the word Propecia, you're already deep enough. Yeah. Kids don't know about Propecia. They just say bald. Esam is bald. Did I see rice gum today? I didn't. I saw FaZe Banks and Mike, the guy who does Impulsive. Oh, Polite and Shake, it's on Chipotle's channel. I'm trying to make dough, Pisha. Nick, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Bald millionaire's mantra. I did meet Charlie, yeah. We already talked about uh, my chest. I don't shave it, no, I just can't grow any. Yeah, there's one hair that I couldn't pluck. How's your view of Muck from back there? Is that my ass? No, remember the Slinger video? I said you were like Muck the Pokemon. Oh, fuck yeah. Everyone loved that you video. Got a, you got a lot of shit that I got video. fucking roasted by every single roommate who came down Here's to my girlfriend. Why. Here's why. It's because he'll he'll put these videos together and then he'll just DM the group chat, hey, you guys down to do the uh, Slim Jim video today? Like, oh, my bad. Did you have to prepare to look at a fucking jar? Because sometimes we'll be gone, or sometimes we'll be doing stuff. And if we're not there, it makes your product worse, which we know. Aiden and plays we want to be there for 12 you. Valorant games a day. Where the fuck would he be? I'm just saying, it would be nice. You know where Aiden up. goes at night? And you create these... these to a scent. You, he He's taking a trip to Breeze. You know, he he'll be like, back in 40 like with anymore. an L. He's depressed. I beat his fucking ass on the setup. And he just talked about how depressed he is lately. No, I'm in Melee. Oh. And then he switched to Sheik, beat me, got a little happier. So I did that for him. He needs Ws to win. That's right. So anyway, what I'm saying is uh, also when you put these competitions together, they're often not like really well thought out. And we like to play games that are like winnable and, and have systems. And so we already go in Fuck there. Fuck you, you called me 315 pounds. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> Everyone loved it. Everyone was like, yeah, this is a great video. Everyone just sh shit on you, Ludwig. I was like, yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate the love. Love and support. I remember someone in your Discord was like, I think Ludwig's really like tired of slime shit right now, actually. <laughs> like, yeah. You, you, you don't know half of it. It was pretty funny. Bump, 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 should bump, I shave? Bump, is bump, it a pedo stash? One in chat if I should shave. Any other number if I keep it for life. I think you should shave. I don't think... Remember your your goatee arc? Yeah. Well, it's for fucking No Shave November. Keep it a fucking fresh one That's here. true. I guess that's true. Everyone's supposed to look bad. You know, I was... I was... My chat has been... They're so nice when I play Pokemon because it's just, like, usually old heads and, like, like new people like Pokemon. And they're like, man, you look like Brad Pitt with that sash on. And I'm like, fuck. I love you guys. It's like, oh, me? It's always been me I and should, you. You shouldn't have I'll probably shave it when I get back. Atriox Raid? 
Oh wow! Wow, we were blessed. Wow, how was Hollow Knight? Atrion raid. I, I thought he beat Hollow Knight and farmed a clip. About hey Atrion, was... do I look like Hitman? You want to speed run this dome, baby boy? <laughs> He's beefing now. I, I don't know. New fight: Atrioc versus Slime. Ooh, I'd fuck him up so bad. You dude. think? You have better yes. reach than him. He's got you on height. You've got him on reach. You know what he would do? He would lame me out. He would lame. Whatever the equivalent of laming someone out in a fight. Floyd Mayweather. He would today. Floyd Mayweather me. Except I got more or, reach. Actually, but also Logan Paul after you got tired. True. I will say he does play Sheik, which isn't a great. The bet. way you guys play video games is like play to win always, and I never jive with that, and I always lose that battle. Yeah, that's true. I lose patience. Well, I think you patience. lose it, and then you go, I play cool. Yeah, I will You're make. Right. It was the bubbles. I will make whatever mistake. The bubbles got grime. Excuse I can to make losing feel better, uh, even if it's not true. Every time you look at that picture with facial hair, you tell us that you're fucking dumb for not telling me to shave. Yeah, that's true. I should shave. Atrog so, has this shirt he got from Target. It's like a button-up collared shirt bananas. with bananas all over it. And I, I have the same shirt, and I thought he took it out of my closet. You got mad at it. You yelled at him. Yeah, because it was in his suitcase, on, like in the living room. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing taking my clothes? And then Ari's like, it's his shirt. Like, excited. Yeah. And I was like, oh, same shirt. And I hugged him. And I said, we're the same man. And we'll always be the same man, Atrioc. You like going up to people and saying we're the same. I know, because it makes them uneasy. It does make people uneasy. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. Because it does make people uneasy, because they don't want to necessarily be that. But they, they know I'm right. Every they time I tell Evan, right. hey, we're the same. And he thinks about it, he's like, we're not the same. We had a 30 minute conversation in an Austin coffee shop where we like we were like you're the same as Aiden and he's like no bro I'm Nick wait I wasn't in Austin no Aiden was there uh, yeah and Aiden refuted that you're the same he said oh okay okay he said he's like Nick not like you that's so stupid he is a fundamentally broken human being and so am I <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet okay and neither did I this is old people man no 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 I miss you. Ooh, I smoke. Someone was listening to that, driving through the wall. You can't listen to that song, lot. bro. I love that song. That song is a problem. I was it, telling... I, dude. Oh, you go, you go. We're, we were having this debate, me and Eamon, about this song, Who I Smoke, with... Uh, don't even talk about it, bro. Fast Fuck Money Goon. Who I don't fucking... Spin of Benz. Anyway... They're shooters, bro. We were talking about how... They have some graves. I, I, I like that song, and Eamon was like, actually, this makes me uncomfortable because they're talking about, like, real people that they smoked, like, that they killed and, Dude, like, get fucking work my And I'm like, you shouldn't... Like, you're not allowed to say that because you listen to, like, rap from, you know, every decade where the same shit goes on, and if those rappers were alive today, they would be doing the same shit. And so you can't really say okay, that, right? Okay, understand you're, like, you're on a fair. platform where the main drama is over a Super Mario 64 race. And it was farmed by thousands. Yeah. And you're talking about someone who made a song bragging about people they killed in a rival rap Yeah, group. but they did it on a golf and course then the, to Vanessa Carlton. And then the other group danced on the other group's grave. With a paper cutout of the fucking news report. It's crazy. There's levels, bro, and we are in Mario level. What I'm saying is, and I brought this up to Ludwig, either way, me and Eamon had this big discussion about you're not allowed to feel uncomfortable if you listen to other music where people kill people. I and, felt like, uncomfortable okay. when Aiden Ross called me a banner. But what I'm saying... I don't want to walk When chat. Aiden Ross blasts on you, yeah, I will write a diss track and film it. In a, on a golf course, I will do that for you. Okay, but, but if no I get murder. blasted, hey, if I get blasted, no I need you to you're do the same thing. You're not gonna get blasted. I need you to do the same thing for me. Okay. You need to make a music video. Stop saying you're gonna if get I blasted. If I take two in the chest stop. from Aiden's crew, you gotta stop talking about getting blasted, bro. Uh, nah. no, I've never played Hollow Knight, chat. But Ugh. Clint Stevens DMs me today because Atrioc was on my account, and he goes, "You playing Hollow Knight?" And I go, no, it's actually Atrioc on my account. I'm in Miami. And I say, why? Do you like the game? And he goes, no, that game fucking blows. I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had something I want to bring up to you. Is Clint Stevens or Jerma the Bo Burnham of streaming? Uh, it's, Bo, it's, it's Jerma, easily. Why easily? Because Clint doesn't stream. Bet when he did. No, it's, it's Jerma. Okay. 
I think Clint has more of the Bo Burnham mind and Germa has more of the Bo Burnham body. Maybe. And if they did if the you fusion, break it fusion up, dance, they'd be gamer Bo Burnham. If you want to break it up like Christianity did, you can. <laughs> but the thing is that Clint doesn't stream it. I don't think he's like incredibly passionate about... Clint takes big breaks like Burnham. Uh, streaming. True. I think he might like it, but he's not like... What does Clint love? Besides pussy. Money. And weed. This has been The Report on Streamer Culture. <laughs> do 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 I need you. He does like good books. Yeah, Jerma's the bow for sure. Jerma's a treat. He is a treat. I watched him play power washing for 20 minutes. He was talking about how his older brother used to just throw baseballs at him. And he'd have to wear padding. And he didn't want to catch it because it hurt him too bad. That's all. It was just power. <laughs> and he, the thing is, every time he would talk and tell a story, he would get progressively worse at power washing. <laughs> he was such a bad power washer while telling the story. <laughs> There's this old, old YouTube series called Henry's Kitchen where he would just make like fucked up food dishes as like a cooking channel, it was a parody. Yeah. And he'd be like chopping a tomato with a butter knife and he's like telling this story, he's like, yeah, when I was a kid, my brother used to uh, throw rocks at me and and he, uh, one time he hit me in the head and I, uh, and I passed out. And then it'll just go to the next <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> yeah, he's still making stuff, but he fell off. As you do. Adams. Wait, who fell off? Henry, from Henry's Kitchen. Oh. AKA Jose Suicidio. See, I know YouTube lore. You got a good sibling story? Are you an only child? I'm an only child. I, I just don't found have this out. I found this out what? today. Are you kidding me? I think I knew it, but I didn't know it. I have a half brother on my dad. That's side. what I knew. He's, he's way older. Yeah. Also, he got all the good genes. He's so fucking jacked and handsome and cool. And rich. He's not rich. Jacked, handsome, and cool. He's rich in spirit. I'm not a bad friend. It's alright. Great. Tell him I'm a good friend. You're a good friend. Cutie went on my stream and said I was a terrible boyfriend for an hour. Sometimes I think you can be a terrible boyfriend, but you've gotten a lot better. You're a bad friend now. I'm just being truthful because... That's when a bad friend move. Because if you're a bad boyfriend, Lie it also means you're a bad friend. And the same things that make you a bad boyfriend make you a bad friend to us, but you've been working on them a lot. Her specific complaints were bad kisser and not enough top. Really? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I'll say you top me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. Any more pressing concerns and pruning up a bit? Let's just kind of try to wrap this one. Rinse off. I'm going to rinse. I want to watch that here. new Abroad Look, in Japan grime, video. Grime over here. It is grime. It's grossing me out a bit. We're getting grimed up. We're not naked now. We're in pickle rip. bathing suits. Favorite pizza? Margarita. Na That's Napoli it. style. That's what you're using your question on. Yeah. That Giant, is the guy in the chat. That, he wanted that. That's big for him. Favorite part of the day? Um, How about this? Better one. What was your favorite part of the day, the middle part of the day, and the worst part of the day? Today? Yeah. My favorite part of the day was... I think my favorite part of the day was probably hanging out right now. No. This is fun. I like hanging out right really? now. Really? I like hanging out I with guess you. you love streaming. I love streaming. It is his true love. When I love he, chat and I love hanging out with you. When he goes downstairs to stream, he's like fucking hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, it's a joyous okay. I love streaming. He really does love it. I don't stream every day because I make fat stacks. I stream every day because it's like, what else would I do that day? Yeah, go live. It's he's the most so happy fun thing time. I could do it's that crazy. day. Uh, but also getting the suit was really fun. Yeah. My worst part of the day was... Probably the flight, because that was today. What about getting caught after the fight trying to get home? I didn't mind that. Yeah? Because everyone was there. Sure. And then my middle part was the fight. Wow. What about you? The best part of my day was um, 
being handed a cold water when I bought a water at the venue in a metal can that looked like a Bud Light can. Yeah. So I didn't look like a fucking pussy loser. Yeah. For that was just pretty drinking sick. water. That was pretty sick. And I had water. Which is sick. And that was sick. Yeah, water's fucking sick. The middle part of my day was going to Donkey's and sitting down and getting oh, coffee. Oh, Donkey's was pretty tight. And I, I just really like coffee, and that was nice to sit down and do it after the suits. And those guys took a picture with you, and that was funny. They just, yeah, they recognized they were, they were cool. And then um, the worst part of the day was... The worst part of the day... I know this answer for you, if you don't. You should go, though. It wasn't that bad of a day. I think the worst part was we were when we were checking into the hotel and I didn't have my ID or anything and we had to redo uh, it all and you had to like tell no, her. No, that wasn't annoying because I had all the solutions. Uh, I, I was prepared. The worst part of the day, honestly, was uh, getting off the plane and not knowing if we were going to be able to sleep. Oh, yeah, because our hotel was at three. Yeah, that was it. All right, final. One thing you'd never <sighs> change about me, one thing you would change about me. And then I'll reverse... I would never change about you? Yeah. I would never change how... The reverse order, actually, so it's less hurtful. Okay. The one thing I would change about you yeah. is you fucking responding to me in DMs when I message you within a timely manner. And only me. I don't give a shit if you don't respond to Cutie. I don't give it. It's very selfish. I just want you to fucking respond to me because I have shit that's important to tell you so you can make more money. That's my job. You know why I don't respond? Because you're lazy and anxious. No, because you're always like, hey, what do you think about this? And never, hey, how are you doing today? You're always whistling. Why don't you change that about me? I don't need to ask. You had one thing. Because I'd rather you DM me, and then I'll ask you about your fucking day. Okay, what if I reply to every DM? Am I allowed to whistle without ever hearing a complaint ever? Yes, but you can't do that. Within an hour, every time I yeah. DM you, unless you're sleeping. Unless, you're, uh, unless I'm sleeping or I'm, 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 I'm live. Sure, fine. Uh, he cannot do and this. And then I'm allowed to whistle forever, bro. Yeah, you can whistle. I'm going to stand outside your Fine. room. Yeah, dude, you have no idea how frustrating it is. You're going to hate my whistling. I fucking love... I will love whistle with you. I would love that. <laughs> I would love to whistle with you. I don't think you could keep up. What I would never change about you? No, no, me? I'll do you first. All right. What I would change about you... What would you change about me? I would change... Is the hair? No. Sometimes Penis you just... too big. No. Do you think my life would be better if you had hair? Yeah. And I already am astonished at the size of that thing. <laughs> I would Normal. change. I would change. Sometimes you just pee pee poof. Yeah. And you also take my car and you'll just disappear. And I got you a car. I'm trying not to put miles on it so I can trade it in for I a car know, I but want. I got you a car. And you still disappear without telling me with my car. And then I, I use yours, and you get mad that I use no, yours. No, I didn't get mad. I just hope that you put good gas in and it, I which you did. Gas. And I was really proud of you. All right. But all right, I won't pee pee poop. And then me. I'll, I'll yeah, snake yeah, draft. Yeah, snake draft. Uh, what I would never change. So much grime in here. Uh, what I would never. Never change is different, right? Because like, I don't want to change your hair, but if a genie came and he gave me a freebie. Right. I'd be like, yeah, we can give him hair. Yeah, you might like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would never change, uh, what's the word for it? Your, um, overconfidence in assertiveness <laughs> in things you have no right being confident in whatsoever. Yeah. Nick yeah. would change that. Nick would he change He doesn't it. like when I do that. You do it all the time. Sometimes I'll say things with such certainty and such such aggressiveness yeah. that you have to believe that I'm right. One time I convinced a Smash player named Captain Face Roll of the time that time zone that Michigan was in. Yeah. And he used to like go to Michigan. Uh-huh. And I almost convinced him because I was so sure it was like Eastern or something that it was a different time zone. Yeah. Because it's I, I was just like I brute forced it. You'll just say something so assertively, you'll be like yeah, I'm just the sickest Falco player. Or, like, more accurately, you'll just be like, yeah, uh, CSGO is just going to die in three years. Or something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. And then if you get challenged and you think you're wrong, you'll break. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't change that. But sometimes I don't. I like it. I'm the crimson blur of nuanced opinions. Yeah. 
What about me? What I would never change about me. I would never change the way that you look at the world in that every out, every situation has an outcome where everybody can get what they want. And you truly believe that? Yeah. And, and you look for those situations. We can have dubs all around. He really does believe that and it makes me think in that way and it's a good way to think. I believe in the world. Yeah, it's so gay. <laughs> like wholesome. That's what I meant. Yeah, all right, fair enough. All right. Well, hey, boys. That was it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we're out. Hot tub stream over. So Appreciate it. Grimy in here. Happy Pride. I can't rate anyone because I don't know how to do it on this phone. I'll be back on my setup tomorrow. I don't know if I'll stream, but I do have D&D, &D, so I'll at least be on that. Um, and thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Boop. Oh, I fucked up. Goodbye. You got it.